So our story of the day today is called Sled Dogs Run, and this story can be found in your anthology book on page 110. So if you want to follow along with me, go ahead. And it is written by Jonathan London and illustrated by John Van Zyl. So let's go ahead and check it out. Sled Dogs Run. Our genre is realistic fiction. Now, what does realistic fiction mean? Do you know? Realistic fiction is when something is not true, but it could be real. Like it's a fake story that somebody kind of made up, but it can kind of be real because it can really happen to somebody or maybe it was inspired by true events. You might have heard that when you see a movie or something on TV, inspired by true events, which means like a story kind of similar happened, but they added like some fun details. So this is something that can really happen to people in Alaska. It's something that they really do, but the author made up this story. So that's realistic fiction. All right, our essential question is, how do animals survive? Read about sled dogs that live in a very cold environment. They were born in the spring, fat, tumbling puppy balls full of fresh puppy smell and puppy life. There was skookum and hawk and bamboo. Here in Alaska, in the far north, skookum means smart. See how Hawk and Bamboo chase him but can't catch him, says Papa? He will be the leader. So what does Skookum mean? Skookum means smart. Now in the summer, the training begins. Sled dogs run. That's what they live for, to run, to run and pull. First, they wear a harness to get used to it. Then they pull a small log, bouncing and skidding behind them. In the fall, they pull a cart for the first time. Papa runs behind me. I call out, Skookum, Hawk, Bamboo, good dogs. For now, they run with the older dogs. I can't wait till the first snow. Make predictions. What do you think will happen at the first snow? Use the make predictions strategy to help you. When we make predictions, we think about what's gonna happen later on in the story. So what do you think's gonna happen? So remember in the springtime when they got them, there were these little puppies and they were fresh and new. And then as they got older, they put harnesses on them. Harnesses are things that go around the dog's body and they're able to tie things to them like a leash or uh, for sled dogs, a log. So that way they can practice getting stronger. So what do you think is gonna happen when it starts to snow? Well, let's go ahead and check it out. In the winter, the snow comes, white on white, as soft as owl's feathers. I lie down in the softness and make a snow angel, but my dogs are eager to run. And by February, they are ready to pull as a team, with me as musher. My first solo run. Mama heats up a sloppy stew. The dogs must eat fast before it freezes. Mama gives me a hug. You will love the quiet, she says, and the oneness with nature. You will love the speed, Papa says, and the sense of freedom. So the snow comes, what are they getting ready to do? They're getting ready to go on their first sled run because those dogs have been getting ready to pull the sled. So she says the dogs are eager to run. So what does that mean? The dogs can't wait, they're excited. And she's gonna go, it says she's gonna be musher. Musher means she's gonna have the ropes and she's gonna lead the sled. And then she's gonna do her first solo run. So what does that mean? If you said that means she's going by herself, yes, she is going by herself. No grown ups are going with her. It's just her and the dogs. And then um, it says mama made the dogs a sloppy stew and the dogs must eat it fast before it freezes. A stew is like a, kind of like a soup that has like meat and potatoes and those types of things. So it's nice and warm and the dogs have to eat it so fast because that's how cold it is. When I come with the harnesses, the dogs go crazy. They run in circles, howling and crying and yipping with joy. Hitched to the gang line, they are raring to go. Mama says, be back by dark. In the north, in the winter, dark comes early. Papa says, trust the dogs, they will know the way. 
I pull the snow hook and shout, hike! The sled feels like it's leaving the ground. Whoosh, we're off. The dog straining, tugging, running out before me, huffing puffs of breath. We are racing cloud shadows. We are racing a snowy owl. We are racing the wind. What was that word that she said to get the dogs to go? Go ahead and look at your page. What was the word that she used? She used the word hike. We spook a snowshoe hare and fly after it. The sled whips, the runners shush. The collars and snaps jingle. Hair disappears into white. The dogs smell moose and go after it. Moose stops and turns around, fire in her eyes. With one kick, a moose can cave in a rib cage. That's what Papa says. I yell, ha, and my dogs swerve left, away from the moose. I yell, gee, and my dogs swerve right. Their keen noses scenting the trail. Okay, so she gave two commands. So the first one she gave that we learned was hike, and that meant go, and then she yelled, ha, what did that mean? It meant to go left, and then it's, she said, gee, and what did that mean? That meant to go right. I hear a howl. Is it the howl of wolves? The hare stands up on my dog's necks. No, it is the howling wind blowing the snow sideways. I hang on to the sled handle for dear life. The storm is a hungry wolf eating up the light. Just as we hit a frozen lake, we are blinded. We are lost. What does the girl mean when she says that they are blinded? Go back to the text and find the answer. So what does she mean when she says that they are blinded? It's sunlight outside, so why can't she see? Well, where, when it snows and when it's really windy, it's something called a whiteout. And there's so much snow that all you see is white. You can't see anything else. So even though it's daylight, you just see white everywhere and you just can't even see anything. So even though she can see white, she still feels like she's blind. She can't see anything anywhere. And she's by herself with her dogs. What do you think is going to happen? But I remember what Papa says. Trust the dogs. They will know the way. The dogs are my eyes. Through the snow blind world we drive. All I hear is the howl of the wind and the boom of the lake ice shifting. Skookum, hawk, bamboo, take me home. Suddenly the wind dies to a whisper and the air clears like a clean window. Whoa, I call. We come to a stop. Good dogs, good team. The sun is down and the full moon is rising, tipping its golden light. When my dogs stop panting, there is a silence, as quiet as an owl's breath. Then I see beyond the long blue shadows of the spruce, lights, our cabin in the woods, home. And we become a part of the night and the moon and the snow and the trees and we run. Skookum, hawk, bamboo, hike, we run to keep up with our hearts. And that's the end. About the author, Jonathan London. Jonathan London and his sons loved to go to wild, snowy places. Jonathan started writing by making up stories for his children. Many of his stories are about nature and wild animals. John Van Zyl is the official artist of the, and I am not sure what that word is, um, a sled dog race. This famous race goes 1,049 miles through the Alaskan wilderness each winter. John owns 20 Siberian Huskies. Author's purpose. Jonathan uses words like softness and yipping with joy in his story. These words describe things. How do they help you visualize what you're reading? Well, I know when I hear like softness, I think of like fluffy, fluffy, soft snow and it makes me kind of visualize it. And also when I hear yipping with joy, like I can hear the dogs yipping in my mouth, like yip, yip, like a happy, happy little cry. All right, and that's it. That's our story for the week. And remember, we're gonna be talking about this a lot. So go ahead and read it whenever you want to this week. And that's it, bye.